Welcome back for another Book Talk video. It's Magical Monday, and I've got a fantasy book recommendation for you. The Fallible Fiend by L. Sprague de Camp, published, I believe, 1973-1974. Originally published in serialized form and then reworked into a novel, this is a really fun story, let me tell you. This is one of those stories and one of those authors from Appendix N that helped inspire tabletop gaming, Dungeons and & Dragons, and our wonderful gaming and video game culture that we've ended up with. Elsprog de Camp is just a delightful author to read. This is the story of the Demon Zadim. The Demon Zadim has been summoned to the prime material plane to serve a wizard. There's a contract that's worked out, a bargain, so that by coming and serving this wizard for a year, that he and his people back home are going to get all kinds of supplies that they need to do their demon stuff that they do on their demon plane. It helps explain why it is that wizards have these otherworldly, demonic familiars and that sort of thing. But this character is a great protagonist because he's the most human little demon demon you're ever going to see. He also has trouble understanding humanity. He has trouble understanding things because he sees the world in a very literal sort of way. Uh, for example, at the beginning of the story, when he starts serving the wizard and the wizard orders him not to let anybody near or to mess with the special thing, the wizard's apprentice shows up, and so he eats the wizard's apprentice. Because he's supposed to stop anybody, which is hilarious. The wizard's very upset about that. And you get to see humanity through the eyes of this outsider, which is a great way for an author to do social commentary, as you come to realize that this little demon is perhaps more human than a lot of humans, who are very concerned about war and murder, and death and all of that this little guy just wants to help people so it's a fun story the way that it all unravels because he doesn't just stay with that original wizard he gets to go different places and interact with different people as there is a sense of political instability and potential wars and battles going on so he has to serve in different functions and I don't want to give you spoilers so I'll just not say anything else about the plot but I I managed to get an old paperback copy of the book that is a really fun cover and it's been reprinted many times over the decades so depending on which one you buy you're going to get different covers that have allowed different artists to give an interpretation of this character but it's interesting to see how different people have visualized this little demon guy and how he would look and how he would interact people even just from the cover. I like the alliteration in the title as well the fallow fiend the idea that yeah he's a demon he's a fiend but he's very fallible and he's not infallible he's got all these issues but those issues make him all the more human it's fascinating to see how he interacts with all the people around him lying and stealing and like i said earlier trying to kill people and it's just inevitable that he's not going to understand how the people behave i recommend that you read the book just as a fun read you can also take in the social commentary and you can think about these philosophical notions of humanity and how perhaps a fiend might be doing a better job of being a human than some human beings are and what that perhaps says about humanity and the potential state of society at certain times. That's really all I've got for today's book talk. It'll just be a shorter one. Encouraging you to check out some of this classic fantasy that really is something that would have come out in the pulp magazines for science fiction and fantasy and yet really holds true and I think has a timeless quality to it so that anybody could really enjoy it. I read a lot by this author who also liked to team up with other authors, so hopefully you'll hear more videos from me talking about El Sprague de Camp, the characters that he came up with, and the other stories that he wrote, both by himself and with other authors. All right, that's it for today's book talk. Every day is a good day for a book talk. Peace.